Hey guys, so I just got back from Tractor Supply. I was grabbing some more cattle panels and I just wanted to show you this. A lot of times there's questions on how people can get these 16 foot cattle panels home if they don't have a trailer. Well, as you can see, I don't have a trailer. This is what I do. I have them bent into a little bit of a teardrop shape. Now I didn't have my camera with me there at Tractor Supply to film how I put it in here, but I can very simply explain it to you because it really is quite simple. First of all, I have four cattle panels here and what we did was we simply placed the cattle panels in the bed of the truck and of course they were draped down onto the ground. Once we had all four of them in the bed lined up, I took a long ratchet strap. You can see back here, I've got two of them in place right now. But I had the yellow one and I had it extended all the way out and I hooked it on the end that was hanging down here on the ground. And then what we did is I got up into the bed of the truck holding the other end of the ratchet strap. The guy at Tractor Supply simply lifted up the end of the panels just a little bit, the end that was out here on the ground. And when he did, I pulled with the ratchet strap and pulled them all the way up, which bent them over. And then I hooked it in here. Then I hooked it into the bed of the truck, pulled the ratchet strap tight and locked it into place. And just to secure it a little bit further, I took a second ratchet strap. You can see I have it hooked in there. Then it goes up through the panels and comes down the other side and hooks down there on the other side. Now when you transport cattle panels like this, uh, it is going to bounce a little bit and it might freak out the people who are behind you, but you don't have to worry about them tailgating you. <laughs> um, as long as you've got those ratchet straps nice and snug, these things are not gonna go anywhere. I mean, I wouldn't recommend going four-wheeling or something, but as long as you're just driving down the road and taking it easy, these things aren't gonna go anywhere and I have done this many, many times. I've had zero issues with it. Now, the other thing about this is when you bend them like this, it does put a slight bend in the cattle panel, but I have found that all you have to do is lay the cattle panel flat on the ground with the, the little bit of a hump up, and then I just walk on it. I walk on it and it pushes it back down and good as new. So if you don't have a trailer, and you need to get some cattle panels, that's how I do it. <laughs>